Okay. Me feel like seeing a chance then I could get more babies because I'm from a family of multiples. Kwetu ni twins, triplets, ivyo. I have a cousin and I have twins. I have a cousin who got twins and then triplets. Yeah. I have a cousin who got sister Babangu, I have quadruplets, ten are twins. Yeah. You see, imagine in Jaribu, lean ten. And I'm being in your heart. So could have been in Asia, could you another quad? Yes, could have been in Asia. From the challenges I've gone through, yeah, of course I'm a happy mother. Yeah. I'm a happy mother, but mm. you know, with a sick spouse, mm. it's not easy, by the way. But in a quad, very hard. He's been sick for a while. For I think since the children were born, I'm a quad. I had surgery because the first one I found lesser. There's another one lesser surgery, mm. and then I found the minor yeah. surgery. Yeah. So, sasa kazi mekua on off. Hmm. Anawaki kidoga na anachukua break. So. Hi everyone, mm -hmm. hi Kenyans, hi Lynn, hi. thank you for coming. So my name is Divina Joseph, mm -hmm. I'm a teacher by profession and a mother of five. Yeah. Um, I worked with, uh, I've worked with several international schools, mm -hmm. but because of the kind of uh, motherhood or parenting, yeah. I, I saw it's easier for me to teach online. Yeah. You know, I developed my own website, Swahili Teacher. Yeah. So I teach diaspora students, mm -hmm. Swahili, and some are even requesting me to teach the mother tongue. Okay. So I just work from home. Yeah. Yeah. So my journey started way back 2016, 2015 actually late. It has not been easy. But all I can say, I feel like I'm really highly favored. Mm -hmm. Because that time when I was pregnant, we used to have a WhatsApp group. Yeah. I remember there were mothers who passed on, who were in the same group. They were ex also expecting multiples. A mom gives birth to triplets, the mom passes on. So I just want to thank God for this journey. It's not like I'm special, but I just want to thank God for the favor. Even when I was in hospital, people would lose babies, like someone gives to birth to quadruplets and all of them passes on. So I just feel honored to thank God and also inspire other mothers out there uh -huh. uh, to keep trusting in God and more so seek antenatal care early. Whenever you realize you are pregnant actually, uh -huh. the moment you notice you are pregnant, uh -huh. start your antenatal clinics. There are some there are some complications or rather issues that yeah. can be sorted early. Mm -hmm. So, and then you keep trusting, uh, mm. work with a doctor, work with the, any med uh, the medic, and um, you will uh, make it. Mm -hmm. So the journey of uh, parenting multiples has not been an easy one because I have a firstborn who is now 10 years, and then the quadruplets, and then I have another child who is under my care, who is three, three, uh, months older than the quad, they're mm. almost the same. Um, it's not so easy, especially financially. It's draining. It's draining, but somehow I've learned to, I've learned to, to use the little resources I have. And I've learned, I've learned so many things that I couldn't have learned if I had one baby. Mm. For example, I've learned to do bulky shopping. Or sometimes you can, I can unite with a friend, two people, we buy let's say 10 liters and then we divide from yeah. a wholesale shop. Half and half. Half, half. Mm -hmm. I've learned to shop now from the wholesalers. I go to the wholesale like I'm going to, like I'm going to sell as well. Actually, 
most of the wholesale I frequent, they think I have a shop. Because I go there, I can go there with a friend, we buy, we buy like 25 kg of sugar, we divide among us three people, mm. which is cheap because it's a wholesale. Mm -hmm. We go to the market, buy a bucket of onions, we divide, I divide. So I've learned how to use the little yeah. resources I have. Uh, I've learned to shop from open air markets, specifically market days. I go during the market days, you know, when people have brought fruits, you know. So um, I, I feel at the long run, I spend less. But my, I give my child the best, yeah. my children the best. Mm -hmm. What do you love most about your mom? I love me. Okay. Mm. Uh, about my, <coughs> my mom, uh -huh. that she can cook. You, oh, you love that your mom can cook? Mm -hmm. All right. And you, what do you love most about your mom? My mom can walk. Can walk the... The African setup. Uh, mm -hmm. There are many communities where if you give birth to twins, it's an issue. You give birth to triplets, it's an issue. Quadruplets. Has someone ever said something negative about your kids and how did you handle it? Okay, I've heard of several communities, but in my community, uh, I've went hard. Mm -hmm. Yes, I get negative comments, especially when I'm in the public, some people. I remember one time I was in the supermarket. You know, Sunday is mostly my house help. I have one house help, mostly. Yeah. I'm end off. So I'm always alone with the babies. So someone like was like, when you are doing family planning, you know. And she was talking in mother tongue, but I had. When you are doing family planning. And also, there's a time they used to wear like not matching outfits. So, so people could just wonder, like, at up and come a family planning, it fail. You know, people ask you, but those are very, very few people. Mm. Very few people. Mm. Majority are always excited. Yeah. Actually, I meet and me. I take time to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I take time. I feel like it's a, it's an opportunity to also to encourage other mothers, even in my social media handles, especially in Facebook. Mm. I get so many parents, so many uh, dads and moms coming to my inbox, sharing very painful stories of infertility. Maybe they think like I know, but so it's just a favor. It's not like I'm even a medic. I've had people telling me they've been trying for children for 15 years, for 20 years. Some have even lost their marriages. All I do is just to encourage them. Some of them tell me, you know, Divina, I have several of your pictures baby's pictures in my gallery. I don't have a child, I'm just trusting. So I, I always, my prayer is always to pray for them, for God also to bless them uh, in their own time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And how do you balance all this? I mean, you have a firstborn who is not a quad. Mm. So I, the relationship between the firstborn and the quadruplets, how is that like? At first, especially when um, when they were young, I must say I almost forgot her completely. Like it was just one time I go, the, we we got a, a, a certain interview from a local a TV station, and she was asked about the challenges of being a sister to the quadruplets. Then from what she said, I was like, "Oh my God, I forgot my baby." <laughs> yeah. So sometimes she feel like she has been neglected. She feels like people are always excited uh, about, about the, the other quotes. ones mm -hmm. and not her. So what I do, mostly when people visit, not, not like when they used to be young, you know, people used to come bring diapers, you know, they bring gifts and then she's forgotten. Mm. She really used to feel offended. So I kind of minimize, like when you come, uh, first of all, I tell you, like, if you bring something, I can add you. Uh, I can add you some cash, you buy for her, yes. this and this, so yeah. that she can also feel appreciated. But yeah. now I've learned to balance, mm -hmm. but she loves her sisters. Yeah. So here, this is Svetlana, <coughs> Bakita. <coughs> Svetlana is my firstborn. Why, 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 She's a very beautiful girl. She is my home opener. She's very responsible. Why, why? Uncle, Uncle Pip, uh, no, Uncle Clark, grade three. Yes. 
Yes. Uh-huh. Anaitwa Svetlana yeah. Bakita. Uh-huh. Eh, Svetlana loves mm-hmm. computer mm-hmm. IT, mm-hmm. anything to do with IT. By the way, mm-hmm. Svetlana, when I'm stuck, anything kwa computer, niyo unionyesha. Oh. She's that good. Mm-hmm. So now you feel like uh, you feel like now, um, now um, there's a balance. This, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to balance, yeah. especially you see now, it was when they were young, you know, the hassle of raising small children same age just too much even one child is tough by the way even carrying one child is tough but now carrying four and then i had my sister's child who was under my care yeah. i took her when she was like two months my sister was still in school she was doing exams so basically i was dealing with five five infants yes and imagine you will not task ourselves to wake up at night because first of all it's unfair they're working for you daytime but at night you know they can't work like like nurses mm. you know even nurses when they work at night daytime yeah. they sleep they sleep sometimes i could get overwhelmed i call them at night yeah. some could just ignore some they just wake up and leave mm. so i used to have a very high turnover of households when they were when the children were young mm. but now i learned how to balance i learned to actually i learned to use friends like my friend to talk to a few friends they come if you are, are on off you come for sleep over two yeah, days yeah. like my most of my friends did really help came yeah. came through mm-hmm. yeah okay how are you some what's the survival rate for quads were you ever worried about your kids surviving first of all when um the sonographer told me i'm expecting quadruplets i think it, di- it didn't even hit me that they won't survive i was like okay i have quads but hey I was even thinking about my health because oh. I was actually weighing 49 kg when I was told I'm um, carrying cords. By the time I was giving birth, I was 95. Like even my face was swollen. Oh. So I was, now I, I, I started worrying when they were born because they were very tiny. I had 1.2, 1.5 and 2 were 1.6. Because now when I used, I saw them, they were very, t- you know, like a phone. Yeah like this yes you know they show you and then they were rushed to the niku neonatal icu when i finally went to see them in the neonatal icu and you know they were in niku for almost two months mm. i could see the tubes all over and now you know with the icu sometimes you don't know whether they are breathing or just the machines then lean i used to cry i was like i've really struggled struggled with this pregnancy you know, I got admitted like four times with threatened miscarriages. Even the cervical stitching. With the cervical stitching, I still had threatened miscarriages. But every time, it was contained. Mm. But now when I saw the babies, I was like, don't tell me these babies are not going to survive. My brother came to hospital to see me. He was like, Mungu si asaidi atawa will survive. You know, he remembers that up to date. So ni favor to ya mungu. Mm. It's God's favor that they survived. Yes, I was very worried after they were born. What kept you going through it all? Um, what kept me going is now having to hook up with people with older multiples. The, those ones who have older twins, triplets, mm-hmm. quadruplets. Actually, most of them were looking for me. There's a certain lady who has quadruplets who are like 14 years now. Her name is Maua. Mm. She actually looked for me. We are friends up to date. Oh. Several. They mm. used to encourage me. They used to visit me. Mm-hmm. So by interacting with people in the same situation, it really helped me. Mm. Mm. And many people see Divina and her daughters. Where is the dad? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm asking. <laughs> You're asking. I'm asking for the one. I'm just asking. Like, okay. yes. He's not a social media person. He's actually he's not in any media platform mm. yes mm-hmm. so but i go to eh. mm. <laughs> 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 Ako to. Ako. Ako to. how is the relationship between the quads and the dad and how often are they together now okay my husband um is a very nice man yeah very supportive okay loving yeah like new lem to you know after being heartbroken after being heartbroken back on Asema, eh, you hate all men. And then if finally now you get a man back on Ashindo, marriages, marriages are this good. 
kumbe watu upenda na hivyo unajua ulikuwa umezoea kupigwa ulikuwa umezoea violence ile mtu anakupigia twice usipopik simu akikupata ni slap utakula you know that was my past now hmm? ile violence i went through a lot so when i finally met him mimi hata nilikuwa nashindwa you know my husband is someone akikula atabeba plate yake aenda taioshe i dry na yeka hapo uh-huh. akioga ata wipe ata bafu is that he's that kind of a man mm. nikisema ai i'm feeling thirsty and say oh let me bring you water oh, wow. you know he's that mm. kind of a person yeah but now uh, the only issue we have he's not well he's mm. sick mm. he has heart issues so far he has undergone two heart surgeries so that has kind of separated us because most of the time anakuwa hospitali for check up oh outside the country yes outside the country mm. for check up mm. mm. and you know heart is a very delicate organ yeah yeah so it has not really been easy for me because i'm all alone most of the time with the kids but because of uh, our frequent communication because of the love because i know that when he's okay when he's working he can give you you know he will give you everything you know yeah. so pia imenifunza as a woman to learn to look for money that is why even um nilianza online teaching nikaanza yeah. kuji advertise kuji market all over mm. and by the way i got a, i have like um i have like 38 students Good. from all over the world mm. i have from australia several mm. from london from the us lean i work at night sometimes i work from 2 am till morning and maybe morning i have i have other students i teach swahili online mm. So and the reason why I prefer not that I can't w- go to the office the reason why I prefer to work from home is to balance motherhood you know they also need me sometimes you know these children get sick at the same time really? if one has fever in the morning by 10 the second one plus my niece they all get sick plus the big one at a squeeze I know how to prescribe drugs now <laughs> pia bila kufika hospitali yeah. you know yeah they when they get sick moja the second one mm. third evo mm. like now for the past ile week ya kwenda kufunga shule actually hata wengine wakufanya exams they all they were they sick they had a very bad bacterial infection they mm. had f- very high fevers mm. walikuwa na homa yeah mm? so you need i need to be ndio you see now with the me teaching foreigners or expatriates some uh, even some kenyans who are in abroad yeah. watoto yeah i even have adult students mm for me doing that you know hapo naweza negotiate naweza muambia kindly uh, can we reschedule our lesson mm. tunaweza reschedule niko mm. na issue and they, they also understand wow yes uh, so it's it's easier when you are working from home for it's, you it's very easier mm. when i work from home mm. Mm. because sasa so, when i work when i go to the office unless sasa ni zile offices sometimes you can work remotely yeah but like physically you have to be in the office yes yeah hiyo inakuwa ngumu I've, i've done it yeah. I've, i've worked nikiwa now the my the school i nilifunza i was there for four years yeah. let me tell you it was hard nafani kwe shule by 7 i have to drop kids to school i need to pick them hmm? napigiwa kwanza penye wanasoma mm. watoto hawajachukuliwa yeah. watoto wote wanachukuliwa hawa wanabaki because maybe have a late meeting hmm? and unajua hawa watoto matatu kuweka kwa matatu labda yeah. ukomboe matatu yote yote Ndio ukomboe matatu yote so ku balance it was very hard yeah. sometimes you are required to work on a weekend hmm? a, sometimes they are sick yeah. you see they are sick yeah. like the school the international school i was teaching i was teaching kiswahili the whole school you know international school swahili is not a core subject mm. so it's like a lesson a week for mm-hmm. every year group mm. you know sasa it's easier to teach the whole school one teacher imagine now it's also unfair to the school you're missing of course yes you have genuine reasons but, but pia watoto wengine wanaumia yeah, yeah. Mm? Wow. Like it was hard to balance mm. sometimes you know i had to task my brother mm. kuna brother we are very close and it was jasper <laughs> so namwambia watoto ni wagonjwa mimi mm. sitaki hata kuomba ruhusa yeah. go take them to hospital yeah as a mother I used to feel guilty yeah. you yeah. know sometimes hata kama ni kazi family should come first because yeah. at the end of the of the day hiyo kazi ikiisha unabaki na family mm. Mm. Do, uh-huh. tu kufanya tu kufanya zile hustle yeah. that can make me close to them which i do and spend time with and them and spend time with them do you crave a boy 
Okay, sometimes. Kwanza yes. nikiona ka baby boy hivi, nasikia hata ni wafuati. <laughs> yeah. You say, hey. You know when I was uh, expecting these children, even my husband was like, ah, hapa kuna ka boy, watoto waine hote. Yes. Kukwe, boy. Yeah. My mother in law and said, "Ipo enda upime." When I was she was yeah. calling me niko kwa queue. Yeah. Umeangalia nikamwambia, "Eh, hey, wamesema wote ni wasta." Nakasema, "Ah, how my doctor now?" <laughs> Yeah. Those are fake doctors. Can yes. you go to another hospital? Yeah. Come on, yeah. mama, apa, mm. They are all girls, mm. but they accepted. Mm-hmm. Mi mwenye ni accept. Mm. You see now, um, me feel like sina chance tena ya ku get more babies because I'm from a family of multiples. Kwetu ni twins, triplets, hivyo. Mm. I have a cousin who has twins mara tatu. Mm. I have a cousin who got twins and then triplets. Yeah. I have a cousin who got uh, sister babangu, alipata quadruplets, tena twins. Yeah. You see? Imagine ni jaribu lean tena. Nitaambia nini watu? <laughs> <laughs> so kuna baje inaweza kuja another quad. Yes, inaweza kuja. Yeah. Mm. Which is a good thing. Lakini from the challenges I've gone through, yeah, of course I'm a happy mother. Yeah. I'm a happy mother but mm. you know with a six spouse. Mm. It's not easy by the way. But inakuwa very hard. So you raising mm. your kids with your husband away takes at all on you It sometimes. takes at all. You know you have to take charge kila kitu. Kwanza social life weka kando. Yaani hakuna social life apo sasa friends unajua you will on the way una lose friends mm. Mm? Mm. in fact one of my friends told me do you know unapenda ku hide kwa watoto sana like hata utaki kukuja you know party nini you know but sometimes hawa ni watoto wadogo mm. i can't see si toka hapa sijui niende naivasha sijui niende kisumu you know yeah. sijui niende mombasa yeah. niacha watoto the dad is away yeah. mm? mimi uka hapa kidogo mtoto ame ride bike ameumia i have to be there yeah Wow. And their personalities. <laughs> are they the same? Are they different? Who is who? They How do you even know them sometimes? <laughs> well, they are very different by yeah. the way. They have different personalities. Yeah. Like vile tu me interact nao kidogo. Yeah. I know uli wafanya ah. story wake wa dogo. Yes. <laughs> they are very different. Kuna mmoja ako very quiet. Yeah. Uo ni Lara. Yeah, Lara. Lara is very quiet. Yeah. This is Lara. Yeah. Lara Mura. Lara is a model. Yeah. You say manataka kuwa model. Ana you say manataka kuwa Kenya. Yeah. So they watch a lot of modeling. Ile ile ya watoto. Yeah. She wants to be a model. I said to her she would. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lara hata mcheke kwa sauti anaizalia because apendi noise. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. She doesn't like noise. Yeah. Unaona ile mnacheka ile excitement she doesn't like. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. Hata anaweza move away. Yeah. Na hata wakiangalia TV yeye ye uangalia vitu zake. Mhm. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yeye hata yani ni kama yeye yako. Lakini the four yeah. they are very hyper. Plus my niece now unajua nimemweka hapo. Yes. You know even when they get sick my niece also get sick. Wait, wait. This is uh, my niece. Yes. Yeah. Jasmine. Yeah. yeah. She's a very calm girl. Uh-huh. Anataka kuwa pia yeye doctor. Okay. She's actually part of us because tumekuwa na yeye tangu alikuwa kwa kwanza. Si kama yeye kama za shule. Yes. Then akajaribu kumchukua ika backfire because Yeah. They are by the way the five are inseparable. Okay. Yes. But now like uh, Libby. Yes. Libby sasa ndio chopi <laughs> kwa wote. Uh-huh. Libby if you're not careful Libya atafanya kila mtu homework. Wakitoka oh. na homework shule, mm. if they are not sub- supervised, mm. Libya can easily do for everyone. Yeye ni ule chap chap kwa yeah. class. Yeah. Yes, so we try to discourage her. Yeah. Anaweza tunaweza mwambia aonyeshe but asiwafanyie. This is Libya. Libya huyu ndio ufanya watu homework eh. So Libya is a pilot. Anaitwa Libya Bosibori. Nimemuita my my grandmother. Hivi za pilots. Libi anapenda pia kuimba. Okay. She loves singing. Yes, na sometimes Libi anapenda ku spend time peke yake. Lisa nao. <laughs> Lisa ni kuongea. <laughs> Lisa atakuangalia hivi. Yes. Eh? Akwambia I love your earring. Yes. Huh? Mm. Yes. So mm. Lisa Lisa talks and mm. Lisa has a strong personality. Yeah sana kabisa yeye oh. sema yeye ni powerful woman oh. because watu umwambia hivyo yeah this is lisa <laughs> lisa lisa msema yeye ni powerful woman si yeye jua alitoa wapi yeah. lisa ni powerful woman uh-huh. yani you powerful woman to hide a profession yeah 
Lisa was born, uh, one part was affected, the right part was mm. affected. Mm. So she has uh, mild CP. Mm. Lakini ayonye kani sana. Yeah. And then this part was affected. That is why I did the surgery. Yes, this for surgery, her leg. For her leg. Yes. Alikuwa na limp. Yeah. She's actually healing. It's been like three months now. Mm. But imagine hata Lisa kienda theater. Najua watoto wanafika huko wanalia. <laughs> Lisa alikuwa anapiga two story. <laughs> the doctor told me mtoto wako. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Even the healing process. Mm. Yaani nilikuwa nasema ingekuwa tuseme Lara. Mm. Even my household. Yeah. Uniambia, he, ingekuwa ni Lara amefanywa surgery. Yeah. Hii nyumba ingekalika. Ingekalika. She's very strong. Ali mean shule like two weeks. Tulika hospitali like a week. Mm. And the other week after that she was just going to school. Mm, mm. Mm. I mean actually I may perform vizuri mm. than even some of mm. some of them yeah. Liana kumbuka Liana is my mom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is Liana Kumboka. Liana Kumboka. Liana is a doctor. Yeah. Liana loves fashion. Oh. You know, I've done a couple of stories on the pressure, especially in the African culture, mm. for women to give birth. Unasikia kila mtu anakuliza utazalini, tulete mtoto. And women are dealing with so many yes. things. If mm. there are women who are watching you right now and they are struggling, what mm. would you like to tell them? All those women struggling to get children, I know it's not easy, but keep trusting, keep trusting, and uh, to the society, we should not judge people. Judging, person, like sasa, mtu anakuambia, utongeza kengine lini, you know, it's depending even if you have close friends, would you reason why, you know, we, people should just be a little sensitive. Yeah. Because, you know, there's someone who is who is trying na mwenye ako frustrated. So waendelea to try to seek medical, proper, yeah, yeah. and always seek a second and a third opinion. Mm. Me, when I was pregnant, by the way, I went like, nilienda hospitali kama tano. Kwanza kukonfirm. Nilifanywa scan three hospitals. Mm -hmm. Waine? So, sijui nilikuwa na expect wata reduce. Second hospital, third. <laughs> Kasema haja. Yeah. There are four. Mm. Okay. Mm. By the way, I'm I'm very inquisitive. So ni kanza kusoma, kufanya research, kuangalia um, kuangalia internet about kwanza kuna ku droplets from the US, I think when it was the gardeners. Yeah. I started following them, yeah. you know. Yeah. Kuangalia and then ni kanza kuangalia the survival rates of multiple children, the risks, premies, ni kuna nasoma about premature births in Kenya, mortality, mm. kila kitu. Mm. And then now I joined groups. I just wanted to be with mothers who are in the same situation. Yeah, yeah. Mm. looking f looking uh, forward. What dreams do you have for your girls? Where do you think mm -hmm. life is gonna take them? My dreams for my girls is for them to be successful, God-fearing women in the society. Not not like uh, necessary wasome sana, but wakwe very nice people, very responsible. Wakwetu na akili ya kuhasol. Yeah. Unajua? Yeah. Unaweza kuwa umefika class 8 but uko na akili ya kuhasol. Yeah. Mm. Si lazima and that is why the idea ya CBC is a very good idea by the way because hakuna mm. ku rank. Mm -hmm. See at, you know gone are the days when top 10 simama hapa. Simama pale. P bottom 10 munaekwa mm -hmm. in another mm -hmm. corner. Munaekwa embarrass the whole school. So me I just want my children wakwe all rounded. Mm. Kama kuna mwenye ata exile in education, well and yeah, good. Yeah. Kana kuna mwenye ata exile in education, but they can do other things, I'll support them. Yeah. Yes, and as a teacher, yeah. that is how I view my students. Kuna wale, unajua kuna wale wakuna strong kwa vitabu, lakini mm. vitu zingine hawajui. Mm. So all children are, are equal. Yeah. Even teachers, mm. even parents. Yeah we should treat our children equal. equal. Isikuwe ati uyu kwa sababu wanakuwa number one na mm. mingina wanakuwa last, mm. unawatenga. Mm. You're not supposed to do that because yeah. kila mtu wako na ability yake. Yeah. Yes. Ibu, talk to your hub because I know he will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where we are. Okay. Hey, ongea, ongea na baba watoto. Hmm, oh. tamongelesha. Baidu ni fani wako sana. Yeah, 
Mr. Asanti sana Mr. Asanti <laughs> Mr. Joseph Thank you Mr. Anito Joseph Mr. Yeah. Mr. Joseph I appreciate Ebu ongelesha Mr. Joseph cuz I know he would have loved even and, to and be here without father <laughs> <laughs> no, anasemanga yeah. it's inakupea oh. ile you know kama ile ya Jeff Koinanga oh my oh my, oh my. you know no, it gives you your, the yeah. signature yeah inakupea your signature mtu yes. aezi iba na i appreciate the love so yeah. i just want to appreciate my husband anaitwa Jo <laughs> you niambia Joseph ni old fashion Jo anaitwa <laughs> Jo yes uh, thank you so much you found me when i was heartbroken from my past you found me i was at broken i had given up actually getting into another relationship ulinionyesha mapenzi you loved me the way i was you've taught me a lot of things the way i view things and the way i used to see and you made me believe they are good men of course mimi mtu hazi niambia all men are bad nitakukataza nitakwambia they are good men out there because not your husband everyone is one. because my husband is a very good man very good man i'm telling you apart from us being married i mean he pay my space you know me my friends who could hapa my friends wanaweza nitembele even men when he's around si atakata ni judge at because this is a man mm. ana hiyo mm. anasema you you are your spouse should not be like in prison oh. akona ile freedom of friends mm. you know some of my male friends end up being his, his friends. friends like kana hiyo nini mm. and then um also he's very is so much good fearing na naamini mungu sana and he loves my family and respects my family hata kwetu wanampenda sana so i'm just praying to god he's been sick for a while for i think since the children were born mm. amekuwa na hiyo heart surgery because mm. the first one alifanywa laser there's another one laser surgery mm. then na akafanywa the minor yeah. surgery yeah. so sasa kazi imekuwa on off mm. ana wake kidogo na anachukua break so mm. also thanking his family because it's have been a very great support system wanam wanamsaidia sana pia mm. kuheal mm. so namuombea quick recovery yeah. i need you because hey mimi peke yangu <laughs> peke yangu na hawa had kidogo nice squad yes. ni had yeah. so at least even if he is sick najua ako you know it's not like when i know he's not there yes so i'm just wishing hata kama sasa hizi awezi travel by the way mm-hmm. ako na hizo sessions anaenda yeah. nini therapy what medication yeah sometimes sasa okay hiyo condition the heart issues when mm. The advice ali ambiwa ni ku take a break yeah. away from work completely. Yeah. yeah. But you know sometimes he doesn't feel you know anaona kuna responsibility yeah. akona watoto mm. but I'm also stepping in a big way. Good. Mimi nikifanya hasul zangu nikipata school fees by the way I pay. Yes. Namwambia mimi nimelipa school fees yeah. I've done He's in the US. Yes. Yeah. Lako US. Mm. Namwambia nimefanya hii mm. you can do something else. Yes. Sasa tunasaidiana I because love that. Yeah, staki kum stress is already sick mm. staki kum stress mm. Mm. I like that. like now ajakuwa job like for six months at least yeah. ile continuously mm. haliambi uh, to adhere to the to the doctor mm. at take a break kabisa so atujakwama i do my hustles easy online lessons i do swahili mm. nafanya hustles nikipata i pay school fees ata yeye akipata na nipea mm. you know tunasaidiana good Mm. and mm. my family now mm. wana understand kwanza my mama anasema mtu asiombe divina pesa you know mimi sasa mimi niko tu i'm just concentrating mm. on the kids yeah i love that mm. and you've uh, spoken a lot about training so mm. where can people find you just in case someone wants to enroll with you it's good that we also use this a uh, platform to tell people yeah. what you do mm. uh, briefly and also how they can get in touch with you so in case you are abroad yeah. you are in kenya your child is struggling in Kiswahili or, or even adults i'm even teaching adults mm. in Swahili because mm. that is training mm-hmm. i have bachelors in Swahili and geography Good. but sasa the demand niliona ni ya Kiswahili mm. so unajua hata ukitaka kuuza vitu unaona ni nini uenda yes. ni nyanya ama ni vitungu exactly. so nikaona Kiswahili is really a yeah. hot cake yeah. especially unapata kuna wale ladies mm. Kenyan ladies wameolewa abroad 
maybe na wazungu ama mm. other foreigners mm. and they really want when they come to Kenya yeah. their children cannot communicate with their grandparents so they have the need to to enroll them for mm. Swahili so my facebook name is divina joseph you can always find me there and yeah. my email is divina yeah. divina with an r ogari at gmail.com yeah. and rose and of course my number oh, please are you okay with giving it yes Feel free. i'm okay with giving my number yeah. 0725 646 544 okay good yes in case you want to enroll for swahili lessons kindly ni pay is a hassle mimi si mlemavu mimi si mlemavu yes. mimi i can imagine hata when hata wenye bwanangu ni mgonjwa mm. is out of work i still najua i still can be able to provide for everything mm. because sasa hiyo akili yote nilipata university ni ya nini yeah i can do it mm. so ni kupata two clients yes. and i'm good to go yeah mm. a message to your daughters a message to my daughters they are amazing yani wamenipea title you know mimi kitambo mimi nilikuwa na wish kupata watoto wengi but sikujua nitapata quotes yeah. and then i was this person who loved children when i was single i remember nikiwa single kabisa actually nikiwa college i used to have kids visit me even my friends in campus uniambia yeah. nilikuwa yeah. napata watoto wanakuja wananiona mm. so message to my daughters nawapenda sana you gave me an amazing title mmefanya nika kuwa a responsible mother because now i'm focusing on family ni make a family first ni me settle and i'm happy mm. Mm. good Yeah. Thank you Divina. Karibu. Mr. Joe without further ado, <laughs> wishing you quick recovery and yeah. thank you for taking your time. Thank you too. Well, we fight, yes. Jesus Christ. Of Christ. Of Christmas. And then we forever because of christmas day